city of Bismarck is a municipality, so everybody is within city limits is required to be attached to our water system. And recently we did a big meter project back when they decided to do the entire project. Horrible, horrible read rate. Estimating about half the meters, we have 22,000 meters on the system, so you're estimating 11,000, so you obviously you don't have accurate water usage, not accurate data. Also had five meter readers going throughout the town reading meters. So that was the driver to do the project in the first place. At that time we went to the AMI system. With the AMI system we also have the iTron analytics with the customer portal and also we instead of putting up our own fixed network we have a public-private partnership with MDU which is our gas and electric provider and we just pay them a fee and use their fixed network and they use our infrastructure. One benefit I know they saw right away was they had a substation down here where they had their collector on. They moved it up onto our water tower. Down here they were getting 17,000 reads. Up here they were getting 99,000. We have an incredible read rate, 99.98%. We use the water analytics with the customer portal. We see more accurately able to find water loss. When I started monitoring the water loss, we were at like 22%. And last month we were at 5%. The first thing I do when I come in in the morning, I log into my computer and I bring analytics up. So that's always up because it's probably within the first 10 minutes that I have a call come in and I need to use the program. It's so easy to help and answer questions and explain what happened with their bills. We have the customer portal. Also on Mondays I try to run the metered leak report. And so if we have people who have huge metered leaks, I will call them and I will say, this is what we see going on, you know, do you know, don't you know? Every time I talk to somebody about their usage and they have a question on their bill, I let them know that you can see exactly what I see and it'll come with text alerts, emails, things like that. The response for customers who use their portal is great. I, I think they feel like they have a little bit more control over their water usage um, and being able to get those text alerts. Um, we've had several people call in and just thank us that we've implemented this because they've saved money. So that's nice to hear. This summer we had one of our water towers almost went dry. <laughs> it, was, it was an incredible event where <clears throat> million gallon tank with our water plant, the SCADA system shows if it's at 0%, should still have about 660,000 gallons in it. When it drops below zero, and then they don't get too worried about it because it usually recovers. Well, it didn't recover, didn't recover. Well, I got onto analytics because I knew we had, we sold water off that tank to our rural water provider. I knew we had a lot of growth in that area where that tank was. And I found that the rural water provider had drained 751,000 gallons off that tank the day before and the people in the area with the new lawns and everything had used almost 4.8 million gallons that day. So that tank drained six times and was not able to refill. With analytics, I was able to pull the graphs and say, look, this guy ran his sprinkler system 6,000 gallons, just one house. We worked with the rural water provider. I called every sprinkler installer, irrigation installer, every landscaper. So then we worked with them to have addresses with even numbers go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, addresses with odd numbers go Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then we gave ourselves Sunday to fill the tanks and to try and get the reservoirs back up and catch up. And it's been very effective. I am a true believer in analytics. I can see the, the benefit for everyone. We used analytics to figure out that no, it wasn't a problem in our system. But with analytics, I was able to pull the graphs, provide the information to the commissioners, and the commissioner that had our portfolio was like, sprinklers don't go through that much water. And I'm like, oh, yeah, look at this. These guys use 6,000 gallons. <laughs> you know, I could show that at four o'clock in the morning, the sprinklers turned on, and in a four hour period, they went through 6,000 gallons or 2,000 gallons. Or, I mean, they were literally shocked and amazed. There's the graph right in front of you. This is what they used. This is what they used. So, you know, pictures worth a thousand words.